you should have gotten. If you FOIL this out, or multiply it out, you get 100 times 100, which is 10,000. 100 times minus y, negative 100y, minus x times 100, minus 100x, and minus x times minus y plus xy. And then, if you simplify the second part, you get 100 minus 100 minus another 100, so minus 100, minus negative x is x, minus negative y is y. Don't forget, we still have to multiply by 100. So now you can see it's starting to take shape. If you want, you can pause and simplify the next step. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the next line. The first few terms are the same. And then over here, I multiplied by 100. So I get negative 10,000, negative 100x, I mean, po sorry, positive 100x and positive 100y. Now, look what happens if I add up all these terms. The 10,000 cancels up the negative 10,000. The negative 100y cancels out the 100y. The negative 100x cancels out the 100x. And sure enough, as predicted, I get xy. So this works for any two numbers. Now, let's do one last example that's a bit harder to see. Because what if these numbers aren't close to 100? Then we have a bit of a problem. So let's say we have 67 times 25. Subtract this from 100, you get 33. Subtract 25 from 100, you get 75. And the first thing you do is you multiply them. That gives us the last two digits. In this case, though, it gives us more than two digits. It gives us 2475 because it's more than 100. But that's OK, because secondly, we add those two. We get 108 subtracted from 100, which gives me negative 8. And then to put it in the right position, i got to multiply by 100. That's what this 100 was for. So I get negative 800. I can't write on top of this number, so I have to write it below. And if I subtract, I get 1675. Bingo. That is exactly the right answer. Please check on a calculator. This product, this product, and this product. And you will see they are correct. Spooky, eh? Thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe. Thank you very much.